So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, thanks to Vicky for organizing this interaction. Because as we move into the final phase of the uh, NTP, uh, this is a very, very timely input of uh, the M2M, because M2M will indeed be a critical building block uh, of the new NTP. And also let me thank uh, Prashant and the EY team. I uh, did not have time to look at the report in detail, but from the presentation that was put out, plus some of the uh, remarks that were made, clearly uh, this is a report that has covered a lot of ground, uh, right from the regulatory environment, uh, on some recommendations on spectrum, on security, privacy, uh, and overall what should be a kind of country strategy for emerging as a leader in MDM. So, well, thank you very much because I think this is going to be really, very helpful for us. Uh, as you know, the reason why there is so much excitement around M2M is that everybody does see this as a big opportunity for India. And why not? Because I think we do have uh, the capabilities and uh, you know, not just in terms of telecom infrastructure, but overall if we look at the way the digital ecosystem is growing, uh, you know, a lot of uh, work has been done in the last three years and therefore uh, M to M is the next step uh, forward. Uh, both in terms of what is the kind of game-changing impact it can have for delivery of services in India. And I think uh, you know, a few sectors were mentioned, but just today uh, you know, I'm coming out of a 5G meeting and there you know, we looked at all these sectors, you know, healthcare, energy, Man, uh, water, transport, agriculture, smart cities. I mean, there's almost no domain uh, which we expect will not be touched uh, by M2M. Uh, so, we think that M2M offers the perfect opportunity for bringing about a quantum change in the quality of uh, services uh, that we can deliver. And certainly in terms of uh, the jobs. Uh, when I say jobs, and I think uh, Virat will ask me to comment on it specifically. The point is that we've already begun to see the first set of startups that are working in this area. And many of them are going, uh, you know, they're quite ahead of the curve uh, in many of the countries. So whether it is agriculture or whether it is in uh, smart cities, uh, there are some companies which are working in healthcare, we've seen certain other companies working in uh, water management. So I think there is a lot of excitement uh, which, is, which is, already, uh, is already out there. And uh, we hope that you know, when once we bring in the NTP and we are actually able to get large sections of the industry mobilized, then really uh, the full benefits of M2M, uh, can, we can be in a position to harness them. The key thing is that in the uh, area of M2M, we are not looking merely at being users and creating you know, fresh use cases, which of course, you know, given the fact that we have a large number of deficits. The number of use cases in India would potentially be quite high. But the point is we also want to be a technology supplier and a manufacturer, whether it is low-cost sensors which will be used in M2M or in you know, some of the uh, software platforms that will actually be used for M2M. Uh, and that is where I think you know people are really excited because we are beginning to see uh, a lot of exciting uh, innovation happening around these areas. Uh, as far as the NTP uh, itself is concerned, uh, as you know, 
almost all the consultations are over. This is perhaps one of the last set of inputs that uh, is uh, expected to go in. And over the next uh, you know, three weeks, we expect that we will be in a position to table the draft document. Uh, and then, of course, people will be able to respond uh, to that. On M2M itself, as you know, the DOT has been fairly uh, proactive. You already know the kind of work that has been done since uh, 2015. And uh, the trial has also sent us their recommendations. So both uh, the work that's already been done, the trial inputs as well as what we have got here today, uh, will be uh, going into the uh, policy. Certainly, we take note of the fact that this is a highly evolving area and therefore we don't <coughs> definitely want a license-heavy approach to restrain the growth of m in the country. Uh, secondly, we are committed to having a service and technology neutral ecosystem so that you know, we can have a kind of free plug and play uh, ecosystem developing in this area rather than making it restrictive. And therefore, uh, the standards that this will be based on will also be open and interoperable. Uh, open APIs. We've already seen with the India stack, etc., that you know, we've seen what kinds of benefits have already come from the UBI and other. API open platforms and so definitely M2M, one of the key things will be ensuring that the interoperability is maintained. Uh, I also take note of the suggestions that were made here that whether it is spectrum or whether it is quality of service, we should not start being prescriptive at this stage uh, and thereby restraining M2M and that we need to keep it open for things to evolve. And so we will seriously give uh, consideration to that suggestion as well. Uh, so I think these are my set of uh, you know, opening remarks uh, on this. Uh, we also, as part of the uh, 5G roadmap, I think we need to commit significant resources uh, both from the government side as well as, you know, from the industry side. Because unless we commit resources, India is not going to emerge as a And so one of the things we will be looking at is, you know, how to ensure that there's adequate resourcing uh, going into all this, whether it is in terms of the manpower or whether it's in terms of the actual capital investment that we need to go in. So uh, we hope that we will have uh, some innovative uh, models and approaches uh, that will be there so that, you know, what we are aiming for is a kind of paradigm uh, change and not just a mere incrementalism in some of these areas because these are areas of huge opportunity for India and therefore we need to create a regulatory environment that will help us to Thank you, Madam.